you know, the, uh, the ordinary person is not geared up to take on the might of governments who are seeking revenge and can really make your life a misery, and they can make you lose your job, they can make you lose your mortgage, your house, and they can put you out on the streets. I've, so uh, it, it is really sort of uh, bullying. I've, I've already been through that, Barry. They uh, forced me out of my house up in New Hampshire. I, I lost a lot of contacts. And there are people around the world like yourself who are prepared to stand up. But at the moment, um, there aren't enough. And the, the governments know this. And these days, after 9-11, they have so much immense power, especially in terms of listening to conversations, watching people. Um, and, and I dare say that you and I are on every single list that exists. Um, but uh, they have so much power for invasion of privacy these days that there is nothing you can do, go or say that they cannot watch and listen uh, if they wish. Getting back to, I, I, I just want to run down the body parts that I'm uh, frequently shocked with, okay? Uh, my uh, eyebrow, my left eye, my rectum, uh, the testicles, my mustache, little toe, the heel, my heels, my armpits, and my back, and then one more spot just below my lower lip, right in the middle. Uh, they seem to like to hit me there. Now, does that does that bring up any uh, sequence of anything or any anything to you? Well, oh, yes, sir. I mean, your your sense organs, um, which virtually all of the ticklish parts or sensitive parts of your body, you've mentioned there. Um, your sense organs. I'll put this very crudely, they, they have a programmed leak where they produce chemicals which allow the sense organs to work and you can feel somebody stroking you, you can feel a little bit of pain and your body knows how to react. Now when you are exposed to microwaves, what you have is a magnification of this leak or uncontrolled leak so although it's not happening in real life you feel as if you are burning you feel as if people are sticking pins in you uh, you feel incredibly itchy you you hear things your taste is funny um, where a single hair uh, would just sort of tickle if you touched it now it's painful um, almost like shingles. So uh, what you can cause with this particular uh, group of senses is um, a, a really magnified effect. Um, and uh, although everyone might be looking at you thinking, what's wrong, you know, that there's nothing going on here, you could be burning or in so much pain. And it can be a delayed action as well. Depends on the intensity. It can be a delayed action, like if you've been sunbathing and then you go in and you sit down and all of a sudden your skin is too sore to touch. So it, it's a very skillful uh, form of irradiation on a person. But I mean, basically that's what's happening, is, is they are causing your sense organs to go into overload, rather like when I said with the brain chemicals, you can force them to go into overload and you can make a person do what they wouldn't ordinarily do. Now, now, should I be, what type of sicknesses am I looking at or plan, or should be planning on uh, having appear in my life uh, with, with this uh, microwave, with the radiation in my body? Well, to be honest, sir, there, to be honest, there are 4,500 different systems in your body which can be attacked. So it's a combination of attacking all the body parts. Um, you can attack a single system. You can attack a group of them. Uh, for instance, you could go just for the endocrine glands, uh, which would mess up all of your hormones. 
Uh, you could go for the skin. You could go for the, oxi uh, the um, ocular system, the eyes. You could go just for the ears. Ears, you could go directly to the heart, the liver, the kidneys. Um, each part of the body has its own resonant frequency. <clears throat> you, you have a cyclotronic resonant frequency and a circadian resonant frequency. And each part of the body vibrates, even the organs, that they all have their own resonant frequencies. And depending on the pulse frequency that you put into the body, you then affect that part of the brain, that part of the organ, that part of the nerve, that part of the skin. Um, and this is why people are being experimented on or targeted. Uh, because although the list today, w when I was collecting lists from spies in the, the Cold War, my list was, was about 50. I, I had about 50 different frequencies that could cause, you know, 60 odd uh, neurological and physiological changes. The list today, I am told, is around 600 different frequencies and still growing. So, uh, and it won't be until they get into the many tens of thousands that they will feel they have accomplished what they are looking for. So the, the list today is somewhere around 600. And to my knowledge, I would think around 40 different countries are working on this whereas 50 to 60 countries, if they wished, would have the technology to also do this. Now, so it, it, it is becoming, you know, a, a, world, a world thing. Now, recently in our news, uh, Russia's trying to put uh, uh, antennas on, on many high buildings throughout the U.S. to increase and in, in, in make their GPS more effective and apparently our government, the CIA, what have you, they said, hold on a minute. And so they're putting the approval on hold. And uh, to me, knowing all this about the microwaves and everything, uh, what are your thoughts on allowing, the, uh, allowing another country to put uh, towers in our own country? Um, I'm, I'm going to be very non-committal here, sir, uh, and not pick on a single country. Uh, but I wouldn't let, if I were in one country, the last thing I would do is let another country come in and put transmitters up. Uh, and I can tell you why. Because uh, up to 40 different countries are usually involved in the manufacture of these chips. And whilst when they're put up, they may work perfectly, there's nothing to stop one of the countries, one of the 40 countries, putting in their own little bit of circuitry, which they can activate any time they like and take over the whole tower uh, and make the tower do what they want it to do whilst it's also doing its normal job. So, uh, I, I personally, I wouldn't have it. Um, and you would certainly, if another country were putting up uh, towers in, in a, a, a separate country, um, you would certainly need many, many safeguards. Yeah, I would, I would think so. When I, when I first heard of that, I, I, I instantly thought that is the most stupidest thing but our government it, like I mean, uh, it, it is because it also involves germ warfare. Uh, and this is no secret. It's been on the Internet. Um, and when I go to conferences, um, scientists talk quite openly that um, if you can affect human cells and animal cells and plant cells with microwaves, you can certainly affect bacterium. I mean, their cells and bacterium can carry viruses. And if you can change human cells, you can change bacterial cells. Now, anyone with two brain cells that are working next to each other can soon work out that if you're putting towers up in somebody else's country and you want to 
for instance, if you want to bring total economic ruin to that country, all you need to do is introduce a bacterium or a virus which is susceptible to a particular microwave pulse. 